what's the potential turning point for us and how do we use films like this to move the needle? Well, I mean, I think that's part of why we make films and what we think about. Uh, some of our big films are broad broadcast nationally on series like POV or Independent Lens. Uh, but the way that these films that you saw were used, I think, is really the key, which is in, you know, public education, getting people together. When we did the school project, one of the things that was amazing was we had these 10 minute films and they were on public television locally in Chicago, they were on access cable, and we had this website. But we'd have these public events and we were filling halls this size and bigger. People came out because they were so hurt by all these school closings, and this was a year, a year and a half later, that people just wanted to talk about it and really be in dialogue. Um, and so I think those kind of, that's how a lot of these films were used. Even the boycott footage, which back when I, I was a student at the University of Chicago and I had cut a little 10 minute piece uh, that was just, uh, I had some audio track and I had this the projector and I tried to start them together and hope for the best. <laughs> but I was going around with a, a key organizer from the boycott to, and you know, it would be, we'd show the 10 minutes at these community meetings that were trying to organize people. So I think the key to making change, film, I always say, films don't make change, it's people who see films who make change. And so you want your movies to, you know, sometimes we make films, these are kind of, well, Winnie is an example of a film that doesn't appear on the surface to be about politics, but it is. Uh, Who Dreams is a film that doesn't appear to be political, and yet, that was a film that probably did more of what we talk about being the hardest thing when you're organizing. How do you speak to people? How do you get people engaged who aren't sympathetic to your issue or to the people maybe that are portrayed in your film? And Who Dreams was a film that broke through on that level. Uh, it, you know, it drew people in to a, almost a three hour story that was about coming of age, and it was about sports, and it, you know, before they knew it, people who would never have watched a film about a social issue, never have watched a film about, quote, an inner city family, had spent three hours with these families and with these boys and their dreams, and in a very emotional kind of way. And I think that opens people up. That's a way to actually get people to see things from a, a different perspective. And so a lot of our work today is trying to do that, even though we're also still trying to make the shorter work that organizers can work and use in the day-to-day -day trenches.